Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the charts. All right, man, this video is going to be pretty fun. We're going to talk about market phases, well, specifically AMC cycle phases on the macro and the micro charts. We're going to talk about both. Okay, but before I start, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and let's get to it. All right. Okay, so AMC phases, cycle phases in the market. All right, we are splitting these phases up into uh, five different phases. And all of these phases, guys, repeat themselves on the micro charts and on the macro charts. Okay, depends on what time window we are looking at here. We're looking at about a year of data for AMC. And this is the way I have, I have split it, right? Because I believe AMC is headed higher for the long haul, right? We believe AMC is going to keep going up. Now, a couple of things have to check off before this happens. So let's also pull up the quad witching curve along with the standard option expiration dates. All right, both of these go together. It's just a visualization of how these market makers are pumping the price between major expiration dates and then bringing it back down. This is known as hedging, right? Collect their premiums, bring them back down by the option expiration date, and then they'll keep trading the, the price sideways. This, this period on the micro charts is also either called reaccumulation or redistribution, right? Before any major event, whether it's advancing or whether it's distribution, you're always going to have something following it, redistribution or reaccumulation. Now, I've been saying this every single video, guys. I believe that we are entering a macro reaccumulation phase. On the micro charts, though, you've, you've heard me say this, you know, if you've been on the videos, you've heard me say this every single time. I believe we are in a small version of a reaccumulation pattern, right? This little guy that's trading right here is basically the equivalent of what we have going on right here or starting right starting to have going on right here this turns into a bigger pattern the price starts to trail back up into a range then we go on and we start triggering these like major price levels that's ultimately the goal for AMC right that's my projection i think that's what's going to happen but based on you know what we have seen over the past couple of years for AMC, that seems to be the most realistic approach, right? For a, you know, for a squeeze. Now, let's talk about the micro charts, right? Because along with these macro phases, there's also micro phases. And these guys are, they're not going to be as predictable, but using the cycle, you know, cycle approach here, we get pretty close. All right, so let's pull that up. So this is AMC on the hourly chart, all right? Ever since we experienced this massive pump, dump, now trading sideways, look at how well AMC is holding here. It's holding really, really well. So again, guys, this, uh, this smaller phase we have going on here is just a reaccumulation phase. And you can say that this entire section from the pump can also be accumulation, short-term accumulation. Right, so what happens here? Market makers, retail, they start to load up on the stock. And typically the way this works, okay, this is where I'm gonna have the projection here, but typically the way this works is there is there is a bunch of fake outs on these charts because we, we have market makers pushing out this idea, right, that you know a stock has to follow a certain pattern, right? It could be a flag, it could be a wedge, it could be a cup. All that stuff, but understanding the way that these patterns work to your benefit would be uh, kind of fighting against what everybody would, uh, the, or at least the majority of people would think a, a pattern would do, right? Flags normally break up. That's what they say. But we have seen time and time again, you know, AMC breaking flags to the downside, right? We saw the macro chart on AMC in 2021 created a massive flag, and then it broke down. So we got to apply these things to, you know, AMC on the micro charts, specifically on the micro charts, because there's so much volatility. And, and this is the thing, guys. So 
for A and C, I have two scenarios. Okay, in the first scenario, we go back to the the you know these smaller phases we talked about, right? So we have the volatility zone here in green, and then this is a short-term accumulation phase, right? And this right here is just a larger projector pattern. So this reaccumulation phase that's supposed to send us back up to reach resistance that hasn't happened yet is just taking a lot longer, right? This projector seems to be more leveled. A leveled projector, this is basically what it looks like. All right. If we have it come down, then it creates a double bottom. And then what is this guy right here? All right. This is a spring. Okay. So on the macro charts, it works the same way. I can pull up a, a ton of charts, guys, where we experience these ugly little guys right here. And they tend to happen very quickly. Uh, springs, they're just V reversals. So pretty much what that's saying is market makers are going to grab a bunch of liquidity. They're going to stop people out. They're going to liquidate positions. And then once that's done and over with, you're going to see a massive wick, right? And, and this is all hypothetical, right? But this would be a scenario based on how the price is behaving in this range right now. Because we are trading sideways, and we're trading sideways for quite some time. It's, it's you know, we're, we're stalling now. Again, I don't see AMC falling down into these lower ranges anymore. I think that the, the fake out would happen very quickly. I, I just don't see it coming down, guys. Doesn't even look good on the, on the macro charts. Um, I do see AMC coming up to the ranges we talked about, eight and then 12, and then trading up in this range for a little while, as we saw with the quad witching curve. But fake outs on the micro are very, very common. And you see this happen more in the crypto markets because it's more of a liquidity game, uh, uh, more of a margin game, if you will, not as much the option chain, right? The option chain is the leverage tool here in the stock market. So they're focusing a lot on these expiration dates. Okay, so spring, right? We got a spring, a fake out, and then potentially a continuation here on this macro projector here before the price finally reaches the levels we talked about. Now, is this going to do it this week? Is it gonna do, is it going to do it next week? Is it is it going to start finally riding back up? Well, it all depends on what the agenda is here for the market makers because, yes, we do have a major option expiration date um, with a four-day week, right, which you don't see that happen that often. Um, this is one of the one of the few you know weeks where that does happen, where they both you know Juneteenth and quad witching happen to line up in the same week. So I do have another scenario in the way that things can kind of play out here. But we have a we have a shorter right a shorter projector here reaccumulation. Pretty much we already have a small gap, and these patterns, guys, they're uh, they're made from a bunch of reference patterns, right? So there's a lot of reference patterns in the markets that have already done this. You know, we pulled up Plotsy already and, and talked about how this pattern scanner is really good at tracking and finding reference patterns in the markets. And all of the patterns, guys, have what we call POIs, points of interest. And that's where the majority of them line up and start pumping around the same range. And that, you know, that happens to happen right here in this range right here. Okay. So some of them are doing it earlier. Some of them are doing it, doing it later. And we have the projection. The projection is a macro projection here. But ultimately, that is a reasonable price to track based on what the majority of these other patterns have done. It's just some of, some of them are going to do it a little bit earlier than others. And yes, this is where we go down to the whole you know option chain and these expiration dates because they're important. right? A lot of these expiration dates, unfortunately, the market makers take advantage of that. And if anybody is tracking a major, major expiration date, we see this happen a lot, but this could happen. And, and why I have the other projection, if the price does not start climbing by this expiration date, sometimes they let options expire worthless, and then they'll start pumping the stock shortly after that. So um, ultimately, guys, that is what I'm looking for, right? We are looking for... Okay, let's bring back the other guy. Okay, we're looking for either the spring or the early projector, right? The early projector. Both of them look great. 
honestly, guys, I'm still very bullish on the macro. AMC is holding up pretty well. Um, I don't see any signs of 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 it coming down. I I was gonna make I was gonna make a you know scenario in case AMC did fall back down, but I just I don't see any patterns, man. That's the thing. You don't see these reference patterns, these uh, you know, patterns that the uh, that the scanners pulling up that are all calling for downside. The majority of them are calling for upside. There might be a few that are saying short term downside, but you got to look at the historical data as well, right? All of this here is very relevant, and all of these patterns have similar levels, similar timing, and then pattern structure when it gets you know when it gets down to these phases that we're in. So that, you know, ultimately, it comes down to those things. Those are very crucial things, important things. You know, the phases, the market phases, quad witching dates, standard expiration dates. Right now, guys, the charts are looking good for reaccumulation and finally a continuation. So I'll be updating you guys. Uh, you know, when we start trading here again, I hope everybody has an awesome holiday uh, off, and uh, make sure you guys check out the Discord. All right, we do have Plotsy available now, so. All the pattern scanning that you are seeing here with these reference patterns, you will find on there. And uh, let me see if I can pull that up here real quick. Here we go. Okay, so this is how it works. All right, it's Palazzi. Palazzi over here. Let's take all this stuff out. You input some parameters. It asks for, for those parameters. The scanning will begin, and then it's going to spit all these similar patterns in the market pretty cool stuff if you guys want to check this out along with some discord plays analysis cycle analysis the cycle analysis approach uh, then head on over click the link below and i'll see you guys next time man take care bye bye